Smith here, professor at the University of Waterloo. Welcome again to my channel. Today, I want to talk about something that is quite useful for PhD students, and it's called the Heilmeier Catechism. Now, George H. Heilmeier was a DARPA director in the 70s, and he was thinking about a set of questions that would help the officials at the agency uh, th think through and evaluate the proposed research programs that they had. The idea was that if they're taking big risks, then um, they better be generating big rewards. So they need to have an evaluation mechanism to think about what risks are worth taking. Now, the interesting thing about the Heilmeier Catechism is that you can apply some of these ideas to thesis writing, and it actually works quite well. So let's go through each of these questions and think about them when you're going into the thesis writing. The first one is, what are you trying to do? So you have to articulate your objectives using absolutely no jargon. You want to be very clear, what are you trying to do? So this is the first one you got to answer. The second one is, how is it done today? And what are the limits of current practice? Now, this is interesting because you kind of want to have a good evaluation of what's currently being done if you think about your related work in your thesis and you want to see where things are limited. So can you push that limit? Can you go beyond? And then what is new in your approach and why do you think it will be successful? So the thing that sets you apart is what you got to think about here. So this is the third question. What's new in your approach and why do you think it will be successful? Then the fourth question is who cares? If you're successful, what difference will it make? Again, really powerful question is what's the impact on people, right? Like. What difference are you making? Really important. And then this is the uh, fifth question in the list of the Heilmeier Catechism is what are the risks? Now you're talking explicitly about the risks. Okay, like every time you're doing an ethics application in academia, you're also talking about the risks, the risks to people, the risks to the environment and so forth. Risks are important to consider. And then the next one, and this is the sixth in the list, is how much will it cost? This is important because you also have to think about finances. It's just a matter of living in Western society. Um, we're all bound by finances and costs, so considering the cost is a really important factor. Then the next one, the seventh, is how long will it take? Thinking about you know project uh, scope, super important. How long will it take? Let's you think about, okay, so what what is the time span attached to this? And then the last one, what are the midterm and final exams to check for success? And this, of course, if you're working in an academic context, is quite clear. You, you have to think about, you know, how do we check this success? How does that work? Is that, you know, beneficial? So you can tweak them a little bit, but really this is a super useful guide for conceptualizing, structuring, and writing a research proposal, a thesis proposal. And it also helps you evaluate a thesis proposal. So if you're on the prof side, you're looking at something a PhD student or a grad student in general wrote, uh, it's a really nice way of assessing, does that make sense? Is this uh, like a well-scoped project? Is it is the risk worth taking that they're proposing here? So you're looking for something that's really well justified and that's well supported and provides motivation for the research that people are doing. So it's a, a really clear description of the proposed research. And you get an idea of how likely it is to be successful and how long it takes and you can easily break that down into milestones. So that's it. Quick little PG tip for you. Hope you can apply that to your thesis proposal or just in general to any sort of research project. The Heilmeier Catechism, look it up. Really useful way of assessing things with these questions. Thank you for tuning in today. You can find me online on social at Academic, on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and so forth. Or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd love to see you there. Thanks.